everyone. Dennis here. I'm with Josh Makuga. And this just in uh, at the TCAs, they announced that Stars is going to do a TV series adaption mm -hmm. of the popular Keanu Reeves John Wick franchise. Yeah. And it's going to be surround uh, the Continental, which is that hotel that right. the assassins go to to uh, kind of. <laughs> Take leisure. A little R&R, a little, little rest yeah, yeah, relaxation yeah. in the Continental. Uh, I, I love this idea. I, I wonder if they're going to... I mean, they're talking about it like it's going to, you know, full throttle, full action yes. series, the same names that are involved in the John Wick movies are involved in this series, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, the showrunner is going to be a guy by the name of Chris Collins, who has worked on Man on the High Castle and The Wire, and uh, The Wire is yeah. one of your favorites, yeah. and I love both of those shows. Um, I, I would like to see it maybe like as an anthology series. I'm wondering if it's going to be like two main characters that go from Continental to Continental, or if it's like a Continental anthology and they're going to other ones that like somehow enact with other ones. I mean, it's an amazing amazing concept because of how John Wick set it up and it ties into the universe. Mm -hmm. Will we see a Keanu Reeves cameo? Yeah, the, Keanu Reeves, is he's going to serve as executive producer and they mentioned that his character will pop in from time to time. He mm -hmm. will not be the main character, obviously, obviously. but they'll, they'll have him in there. But you, you bring up a good question because the Continental is like this series of hotels around the world, mm -hmm. the one we're most familiar with is the New York one, right? Sure. You have uh, Lance Reddick, who was also in The Wire. Yeah. Uh, he plays the concierge. And then you have uh, Ian McShane, who mm -hmm. I love from Deadwood, and he plays the owner, right. Winston. And he played a much bigger role in, in the second John Correct. Wick. So now the question is, is are they going to bring those characters? Are they going to focus mainly on the New York one? Or yeah. are they going to hop around like you say? Yeah, I mean, uh, Ian McShane, obviously busy with American, American Gods. Gods yeah. Uh, and Lance Reddick is in a new show on Comedy Central, but those two guys, I mean, they're they're that and, and, along with John Wick as well, but they're that 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 webbing that kind of brings it all together. You would imagine they're going to play a somewhat important role, but I love the idea that we're going to get some more assassins. And Stars doesn't scrimp; they go full on. If they're mm -hmm. going to do the show, they they put the budget into it. So you're talking about like Hugh Jackson scene, Hugh, Hugh Jackson. Um, <laughs> You have huge action sequences, but also like you're going to see worldwide kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. This could be, you know, one of those action series that the we've kind of been like begging for. If you watch like Strike Force on Cinemax, that was a great action series. But there aren't many great like action series outside of a Marvel universe mm -hmm. on TV, streaming or not. The Continental is is a place that one of the rules is you can't do business there, right? Right? You can't, and that was a big deal when, when uh, I forgot, it was Adrian Pilecki's character yeah. who, who who attacked uh, John Wick, and then she had to pay the price sure. for it. They can't make it that every episode someone breaks the rules, right? right? It has to be this thing where like people are afraid to do that because of the rules and right. what, what the consequences. So that means the action has to take place outside right. of the hotel, right. which, you know, it's much more costly. Sure. I mean, is it one big target? Is mm -hmm. it multiple targets? Is it the world's best assassins going after one main target that's been like the white whale kind of a thing? So many, so many options here in the series, which is, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, 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 I'm excited for it too. I, this is definitely a series I'm going to check out just because of the John Wick associations yeah. and that they're making it. It's not like a spinoff. You know, sometimes they make spinoffs of TV series yeah. and, and then it really has nothing to do with the movie. Right. They're saying this is the same World. universe. Yeah. Like, if they're going to bring Keanu Reeves and he's cameoing and then we're, we're, we're assuming that Ian McShane and, and Lance Reddick will pop in there as well. Sure then this is the same world. It has to fit in that same universe. And Stars has always been kind of famous, at least in, un, until recently, uh, that, that like two and done network where mm -hmm. they have two amazing seasons of a show and then they get rid of it. S Stars has gone away from that. Uh -huh. They've actually invested in a bunch of series, uh, um, you know, Black Sails mm -hmm. and Outlander. Uh, well, Outlander's Showtime. R regardless, it the Stars, I think, is a really cool place to have this because pay cable, explosions, killing, everything. <laughs> That's what John Wick's about. Kung yeah. Fu. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's our thoughts about this news. Let us know in the comments section below. Josh, where can people find you? At Josh McCuga, Twitter and Instagram, The Josh McCuga Show on YouTube. And you guys can find me on Twitter at Think Hero or Instagram, Dennis.TZNG. And stay tuned for all our latest videos.